somehow, I guess the name tag, he would memorize my name. So he'd be like, what's up, Darwin? I'm like, oh, cool. <laughs> you know, shit. Yeah. I, I, probably the all, one thing. only one that would Every say, yeah, thing. the only one. Everybody just comes, can't say what's up, bro, or whatever. Remember this fool used to always come get a pre-workout and some cookies. And yeah. <laughs> I still eat the cookies. You can see my Those cookies were good. I never and say no protein. to the cookies, man. They were high in protein, bro. Like man, how, high in protein. Oh God. I, I I wish I didn't gain the weight from them, but man, oh, they were good. Shit, they, they still good. Bro, shout out to Carrie. But I used to I used to get one. I used to pay for one, and then I would eat the the, the other one. Okay, so it's, you you uh you okay, okay so. Yeah, I met Oscar by that, and then he kind of I saw him with a sprint shirt. That's why I asked, like, mm -hmm. oh, you work at Sprint. And then he was like, yeah. So I was like, man, give me a job there because I'm trying to make more money. Because I already had like, my time was already due at goals. I wasn't making money and then I wasn't going to do the personal training thing. So yeah, he, uh, you know, hooked me up and taught me the, you know, took the sales into like another scale. And I was actually good. I was probably yeah, top performer there as soon as I got there. So that's like, that's when I knew I was like on some different shit because not only did I learn the shit like on, at goals, I, I was watching you guys sell, watching Carrie, and then also watching, uh, uh, the personal training thing. Mm -hmm. I learned a lot of shit, but then like Oscar just took that to the next level. And, yeah, and that, and that, and that kind of sparked. And I was, as soon as I got there, I, I knocked down the number one person that was Aaron. Shout out to Aaron, uh, yeah. from, uh, he's in Houston right now. Uh, he was the top dog and I knocked him out. I was like, I'm going, I'm coming for that. I'm coming for that yeah. time. I told him too. And I told him like, Hey bro, I'm cool with you and shit, but I'm coming for your, I'm coming for your spot, you yeah. know? And that's what, Exactly I what love, I did, but trust me, being the manager there, I loved it. I made so much money with you too. I really did. I was like, yeah, Oscar was you number keep going one all that like hit the store. Plug, you're in the <laughs> 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 oh, I mean, I'm gonna tell you this. This uh, that 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 job was one of the best jobs, just because once again, it all has to do with leadership. Oscar wasn't a boss. Oscar was a leader. Oscar was there to help us out, yeah. help us close. Was involved with the customer. Would bring us lunch all the time. I was gaining weight, man. That's Oscar for the yeah. Jersey Mike's and shit. He had all the plugs, bro. He had all the plugs. That shit was awesome. Build relationships. That's yes. what I tell people. He would come and then bring, because the, the next door was the Jersey Mike's, so he would come yeah. up with two subs. Footlongs. I'm talking footlongs. All right, Oscar, you didn't have to pay for that. I didn't pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit. Okay, you know. So, yeah, I learned I learned that. Take a little piece from my girl. <laughs> Yeah, those were the days and it goes back to like that was one of the best jobs because of the energy like i was excited to go to work every day the the team oscar was the leader so he taught me that and and it just after that when i knew my potential and i knew i i, I reached my peak that's when i moved to the next thing which yeah, was at&t exactly. and uh, the, the commission structure was bigger everything was bigger and oscar helped me out with that he was cool with it he was like on to the next and yeah, back when you were in you? And Sprint, what was your goals back then as far as like career? Because I remember you were like, Well, every you know. single place that I've ever been to, I've always just never wanted to stay where I'm at, no matter what. So I graduated with a degree in communication. So I thought Sprint, telecommunication, it's in the name. I remember. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember that. So I thought that's where I was going to be, be in. You know, I have like a minor in business, going to be better helping out people. And, you know, after a while, you just start doing it and start doing it, start doing it. It just becomes monotonous. And I wasn't, I wasn't in love with it. I really wasn't. I leave that job. I become a college professor because I finished my master's degree. And I'm, do, and I'm starting to teach again. First time ever. Did you take a pay cut? Huh? I took, a huge one, huh? I went from six figures down to like no figures, if that helps you out. And I started thinking about it. And I was like, man, I have a lot of fun here, uh, you know, teaching. But it's just not all the fun I can be. And I started thinking about it. I was like, what was the most fun that I did that I remember? So when you say teaching, you was a teacher, right? So I was a college professor teaching. How was that experience? Like, cause I know you, I remember you would tell me, Hey, right. I got this job at this college and I'm a teacher. Right, right. So I was teaching at Rose State College full time. And so how was what that? were you teaching? I, I was teaching American government, political science, social studies, you know, history and all that stuff. Main, main thing. Um, so I love doing it. I really did. But the same thing is like, I hate a ceiling is I, they only kept giving me that one class. So I was like, man, you know, it was like, I keep teaching the same class. It comes getting boring. History? You say you were Yeah, you I was te teaching American government. Uh, so, I mean, like, don't get me wrong. Politics always keeps changing, but it's still the same. Yeah. It's same not, material. it's not that like. High and, it, and it's tough because you basically have those people that are in that class probably don't even give a fuck. They're just like, they're, they're, they're cause they have to, they take, have to take that class. And then you have to teach that's the same. The time. Well, yeah, it is. So that's probably why he got tired. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. Like.